my box for the mystery box challenge and I am so excited. I have been taking part in this for now just over a year. Courtney from Creative on the Cheap is the one that organizes all of this and they are so much fun. I got my box from Natalie from Design on the Nines and I can't wait to see what is in this. Oh goodness. If you are new to this, what we do is there are eight creators and we each send somebody else a box full of goodies. I sent mine to Justin Ray. You guys, I can't wait to see what he creates with everything that I sent. So if you want to see what he is making with all the items I sent, make sure that you go watch his video. He makes some of the most amazing things. It is awesome. And you don't want to miss anybody else's videos either because there's so much inspiration that comes from these challenges. So make sure that you click the playlist down in the description box. So again, my box is coming from Natalie. She started off with a card on top, but she even, the outside of the box is pretty. We have pretty green tissue paper on the inside. I mean, are you kidding me? Should I be surprised? Let's just say, um, Justin's box is an pretty. Nope. Um, it's an adult coloring card. I mean, really? Like, seriously? She's amazing. She's just amazing. Dear Jennifer, I cannot wait to see what you come up with. You are talented. I have no doubt you will do great. My challenge pieces are as usual. One item I have DIY'd before and one I have not. Should I be scared? Have fun and whatever you don't use, just add to your stash. Love, Natalie. Okay, at least I know that they're doable. I shouldn't be too scared, right? And that also probably means she didn't put anything fuzzy. Courtney, did you hear that? Shannon, did you hear that? Probably nothing fuzzy. Let's see what's in here. I got a wooden arrow. This comes from Dollar Tree. She's softening the blow with some chocolate. Thank you, Natalie. I do love me some good chocolate. Uh, I'm gonna save this because I have a feeling I might need it while I'm working. Um, a couple of the Dollar Tree lavenders. Always good to have. I love lavender. Oh, isn't this pretty? Look how pretty this is. I love like this like doily lace effect on the outside, but it's metal. That is really pretty. It's like, I meant, I, it's from Ikea and I'm pretty sure it's meant to hold a candle, but I could be wrong about that. Um, but it doesn't, it doesn't matter what something's meant for. You can do whatever you want with it, but that's just pretty. Some of the wired jute from Dollar Tree. Like I need a place for all this stuff. Um, this is a set of three tins. Oh, how cute are these? Hold on, hold on for a minute. I think I need my scissors. I love that it's like a two-tone lid, but look, it's like a, what do you call those? The, oh, what do you call those? The stacking, you guys are gonna tell me in the comments. The stacking, Dolls, the stacking, they have a name and I just can't think of it right now. Oh my goodness. Oh, but look how cute. That two-toned with like kind of an orange and yellow. And then the last one, I'm working fast here. Oh, oh, I love those colors too. I like that they're all kind of more of a muted. Nothing is like screaming in your face. Yes. That. I can work with that for spring even. Oh my goodness. I am excited about these pins. Those are super cute. I need to get to Ikea. I actually have some of this fabric or something similar. I have a, um, I should say she sent me some fabric. I have it. This is cotton. I have it in a felt. I'm excited to have the cotton. That is all. I love this fabric. I think it's a really pretty fabric. Um, can do a lot with it. The little three set of three of the mini clay pots from Dollar Tree. Always useful. I love those. A little Dollar Tree sign. You did not wake up. 
<laughs> to be mediocre. Nope, we did not. Oh, this is a cute little sign. It looks like it is from Dollar General. Stay a while. At least I'm pretty sure that's the Dollar General. Yes, it is. I know it is. Okay, here we go. Challenge item. Wish me some luck. Number one. I'm really nervous. Okay. I can do this. I can do this. She sent me a lantern. She sent me a lantern. I have not actually seen like this particular lantern in store. So you know what? I'm excited to work with this. I really am. I think it'll be fun. Hold on. This feels heavy. On one end, I should say. I'm, I, I'm a little nervous. I should also say that we have a little curve to our challenges. Courtney has added that we have to use... Oh, okay. Hold, hold that thought for a minute. It looks like a little... It's an orb, but it's a solar one. So, okay. I am not like hating on... I don't, I, don't get me wrong. I still don't know what I'm doing with it, but I'm like optimistically like excited does that make sense like i'm i'm excited to do this we also have to use popsicle stick somehow or a popsicle stick as we create in all of this so i have to use both mystery items oops that fell out of the bottom i'm not staking it in the yard anyway so it's all good um and a popsicle stick so yay let's get going i'm so excited does it look like a microphone? <gasps> Don't do that. This is glass. I'm so excited. I just can't hide it. And I know, and I know, and I know. I want to cry. Let's get going. Okay, it's definitely been a few days since I got my box and I have changed my mind a thousand and one times between then and now. I've also had some swelling face issues. If you follow me community, then you already know that. But I have come up with six DIYs that I think you are going to love and I am so excited about them. My absolute favorite one is at the end. So make sure that you stick around so you can see which one that is. Now let's start with one of the challenge items because I couldn't resist. I have to start with challenge items. So I decided I wanted to dive right on into a challenge item and it was a pretty easy choice because I dropped the lantern and because I dropped it, I damaged the lid and I'm like, well, already damaged it. I might as well work with it. And because I damaged the lid, I knew that I couldn't just leave it the way it was. I was going to have to kind of toy with it anyway. So I decided to go ahead and just take the lid off. I'd like to tell you it was super easy. It did take a little bit of maneuvering. I was having to do a little bit of metal work, we'll say, a little twisting and toggling in order to get that lid off. Let's just be careful. Let's not hurt ourselves. I have to tell you, I was successful if no injuries happened here. But once I did get that lid off, then I went ahead and I removed all the glass out of the lantern. After that, I wanted to create a new lid and I'm using Dollar Tree's larger little wooden planks, four of their tumbling tower pieces and a wooden bead. With the larger wooden plank, I went ahead and I cut two pieces out of that, one three by three and one slightly smaller so it would fit right on top of those four tumbling tower pieces once I had those assembled. And so you would just measure that out and cut it accordingly. To assemble the four tumbling tower pieces and everything else, I'm using some wood glue so that they will stay all together with a nice secure hold. So I went ahead and secured those four tumbling tower pieces with that wood glue and then added the smaller wood piece right on top of that and then the wood bead. Once that had all set up and dried, I then added that to the larger wooden piece. 
After that, I took both the top and the bottom and the little metal ring that originally came with the lantern out to my spray tent. I'm using Rust-Oleum's Ultra Matte in white, and I gave them a good coat of that white spray paint. I went ahead and kept everything separate while I was spray painting because I knew that if I didn't have the top on there, it would be a whole lot easier to get inside of that lantern. Once that spray paint had dried, I came back inside, and before I added the top on, I wanted to go ahead and add that ring on, so I took a piece of twine, just a small piece, add a little bit of washi tape around that, and then use some super glue in order to attach that. I just took that little washi tape and pushed it right down into that hole of that bead in order to hold that nice and secure. I thought the super glue would help hold the top onto the lantern, but it wasn't strong enough. There wasn't enough contact surface. So I went ahead and I grabbed a popsicle stick. I cut it into four pieces using my miter shears. You guys, those are fantastic little tools. They cut through wood, like small pieces of wood, super easy. I then painted it white so that it would camouflage once I put everything together and it used some hot glue to attach that. I just slipped the lantern right on over and then with the little tabs that originally held the glass in, I used those tabs between the lid wood and the popsicle stick and that little tab was in between and I hot glued everything together and that lid is held on nice and tight now. After that, I added some Dollar Tree greenery. I just took a few of those sprigs, popped them right off just stuff them inside, made sure some of the little branches poked out and made it look a little bit more whimsical. Added a fake candle inside. I would never use a real candle because of the wooden top. Fairy lights would look really cute inside of it as well. You can style this in so many different ways. For the next project, I wanted to create something using those two six by sixes that Natalie has sent me. So in the smaller frame, I wanted to have a quote and then the larger frame, I wanted to have like a picture and then a put the two things together. So online, a friend of mine showed me a quote that said, stay close to people that feel like sunshine. And I love that quote, it's just happy and cheerful. And I thought it would be the perfect quote. So I went ahead and created that in the fonts that I wanted. I do have a printable for you. I will link that down below, but you will need to size it to the size that you want. Just go ahead and copy that, put it in Word, and then size it exactly the way that you want it. And that's exactly what I did. So I went ahead and put it in Word, sized it to the six by six frame. I used a black card stock in order to map that on, cut that just slightly smaller, and that is what I put in that smaller frame. In the larger frame, I went ahead and I took Waverly's chalk paint in white, and I painted the entire inside of that frame. And then I went in with Waverly's chalk paint in maize, pumpkin, and crimson. So maize, I put the very most, that's their yellow. That was my base color. I did a little bit of pumpkin and a little bit of crimson, and then I just slightly swirled them together. I didn't want it to be mixed. I wanted it to have more, I don't want to say marbling, but kind of think more marbling, more swirl looking. And then I took my brush and I went in and just swirled it around to kind of get like a circle shape because I was creating a sun. After that, I went in and started my little rays and I went around just kind of willy nilly, not trying to be perfect about my rays because I really wanted this to think more, I don't wanna say Van Gogh because I didn't go thick on the paint, but I definitely did not want this to be like perfect, perfect. I hope that makes sense. I really wanted it to just have a very natural, organic feel to it. And I think that is exactly what I got. I love the look of it. I love the colors together. I think it's beautiful. Once that dried, to apply everything together, I went in with three of the Dollar Tree Tumbling Tower piece to add support to the back of the smaller frame. And I just hot glued those to the side of the larger frame and then added hot glue to the top of those and then attached that smaller six by six frame. And then this project was done. I absolutely love this project. It makes me smile. And that is how I know that I have made a project that I will be keeping for quite a while. For my third project, I decided I should go ahead and tackle the next challenge item. I thought I knew what I was going to do with it. Um, I had a good idea and then I had a fail. So I don't know if you've ever seen the nail polish painting marbling thing online where you take water, you pour nail polish, you put something in it, it turns out beautiful. I tried that. Let me tell you, it didn't turn out beautiful for me. Um, it was a mess. 
I tried it more than like it globbed up first. It was a globby mess. And then I tried it again on it. I ended up going in with nail polish remover and removing all the nail polish off the little glass globe. It was just a mess. And I cannot even tell you, I think I still have blue underneath my nails at this very moment. Um, this is the chocolate Natalie scent. It had three pieces. I've eaten one thanks to that globe. Just so you know. I should have another piece of chocolate. Just thinking about that nail polish. Excuse me. That Coke. I need a minute. Well, so after the fell, I had to decide what I wanted to do. And I had seen some painted, online I had seen some painted globes and I like them, but I don't really trust my painting skills. I don't feel like I'm that good at it. But I decided, you know what, why not? I have some outdoor paint from Arteza and I decided to just give it a go. So I freehand painted. I took a green and a black, mixed them together in order to create some depth. I didn't, again, mix them super well. I wanted to have like contrasting colors and I went in with some thinner strokes and thicker strokes. And then once it dried a little bit, I went in with a little bit of the lighter green and dabbed it on to add a little light color and a little bit of the darker green to add a little shading. Once I had all the green on there and it was dried, then I went in with a little bit of pink and red. The pink was a little too bright, so the red helped tone that down for me. And I just did five little petals in order to create a flower. I added pink, three little pink flowers, and then I used an orange and a yellow again, mixed those together and created three little five petal flowers doing that. And then I took the opposite colors and then dabbed three little dots right in the center and voila, I had a painted little globe light. The light is being a little bit finicky and shorting out on me. But I'm okay with it because I really love those bright colors, especially next to my very white gnome that sits outside. I just think it's really pretty and I'm just glad I took a risk and tried something that I have never tried before and I had fun doing it. So in the end, I really liked this project. For my fourth project, I really wanted to use two more of the items that Natalie has sent me. So I took that really cute doily candle holder from Ikea and the two of the three clay pots from Dollar Tree. And I'm using some E6000 in order to attach the two clay pots to the candle holder and making like a candle holder stand. So I first attached one of the clay pots to the candle holder and then attach the second clay pot to the bottom of the first clay pot. And I did them in a reverse order, so they kind of created like a V kind of shape, or an X shape, I should say. Once they were all put together, I took them outside to my spray tent, and I'm using Rust-Oleum's Ultra Matte and White. I not only sprayed the clay pots, but I also spray painted the candle holder because I wanted them to all have the same tone of white. And I absolutely love this. That doily candle holder is really pretty and I love having candle holders that have a little bit of elevation. This is definitely something I plan on using like all spring and summer and I'm really excited about it. I absolutely love the little tins that Natalie sent me. They are so cute and I finally remembered it's rushing nesting dolls. Ah, I can't believe I couldn't think of that when I was opening them. But I thought the colors of these are so perfect for like spring and summer. And I didn't want to pigeonhole myself into only using them like in the kitchen or bathroom. And so instead of putting anything on them that would make me only use them in one specific place, I decided to keep it really generic so that I can use them wherever I want. So using my Cricut, I went in and I designed or I <laughs> shouldn't say I designed. 
I used some of their designs that coordinated in order to add some vinyl onto these tins. And it was super simple. I added a couple of like little vinyl doilies on one, a little lacy border on another, and a scalloped on the smallest one. And I just think it's so adorable. And again, I will probably use these to help store some crafting items, but wouldn't they be so cute in the kitchen or bathroom as well? One of my absolute favorite projects I have ever made, not just one of my favorite projects in this video. This is just one of my favorite projects and that's a pretty bold statement for me to make. So Natalie sent me the fabric and the arrow and I saw the arrow and I was kind of stumped at first and then I thought, you know what? I have several of these arrows from Dollar Tree and I should just grab them all together and do something with them. So I went ahead and grabbed all the arrows that I had and I was placing them together and then trying to come up with a quote or some way of arranging them. And again, I had a friend that pointed out that follow your own path and I love that quote. I thought that was really great, especially in times, I have a teenage boy and a daughter that's almost a teenager where I really want them to be themselves and to follow their own path and not to follow other people. And I thought that is the perfect quote. So I went ahead and I took a piece of plywood, I cut it down, it's 19 by 25, and then I cut two more pieces of plywood, one and a half by 19, so that I could frame both the top and the bottom. All together, I had five arrows. So to begin with, I took all the rope off all the arrows, but two of the arrows actually had the rope go through it and had holes, so I filled in the holes to get rid of those. Once I got rid of the holes, it was time for me to paint them all, and I painted them using Waverly's chalk paint in white. And I just did a real quick painting, kind of just one coat, easy breezy. Once that dried, I went in and did a real light sanding, kind of exposing some of that wood on the edges. Two of my arrows were the small squatty arrows, and I wanted to do something fun and unique with one of them because it wouldn't have any words on it. So I took six popsicle sticks, and I took my miter shears and I cut them at 45 degree angles. That's one of the reasons why I love these miter shears is that they make cutting so easy and convenient. After I had the cuts, I'm using some wood glue in order to attach them. And then I'm using some painter's tape to hold them in that shape while that dries. Then I went in with Waverly's chalk paint and ink in order to paint them black. Now I didn't worry about painting them all the way because I knew that I would be cutting them off once I attached them onto the arrow. When they were all dried, I peeled off the painter's tape and then I used some more wood glue in order to attach them straight onto that arrow. To cut them and trim them so they would fit perfectly onto the arrow, I'm just using a utility knife and then just going back and forth until it slices right off. Once I had trimmed out all of the arrows, I did go in with a piece of sandpaper to smooth my edges. It did expose a little bit of that raw wood, but I think that actually blended it better with the arrow than if I had left them like a really stark black like they originally were. And then it was time for me to assemble everything. I trimmed my fabric down so that it would be the, a good size for my board. I ironed it out to get rid of any of those creases. After that, I took it outside and I used the Gorilla Spray Adhesive. It is a repositional re adhesive. And I sprayed my board to help me attach my fabric. I laid my fabric out. I got it all aligned nice and straight, and then I flipped it over. To wrap the fabric around the board, it would be similar to if you were reupholstering a chair. So I went ahead and I folded the fabric over and I stapled first in the center, and then I worked my way out to the sides. And then I flipped it around and I did the exact same thing to the other side. On the corners, I like to actually fold kind of like at a diagonal and then fold the other corner over. And so you kind of get, think like if you're making your bed and you kind of like to raise up the side and you fold the other side. If you know what I'm talking about, that's kind of what I'm going at. And then I start stapling from there, trying to just keep everything nice and smooth and not getting any like rippling as I go along. So once I got everything stapled on the back and the fabric was were in line, and then it was time for me to assemble the front of the board. And I was getting so excited for this part. So first I went ahead and I did the top and the bottom frame. I only chose to do a top and bottom because I didn't want the arrows to feel like they were cut off by framing both of the sides. In order to attach those, all I did was a staple on each end. After that, I lined up the arrows where I needed them. And then again, I went in with two staples, one on each end of the arrows 
to secure those down. Once everything was stapled down on the arrows, I went in with the white paint in order to cover up the staples. On the frames, I went in with the black paint in order to cover up those staples. After that, it was time for me to add my words. I had used my Cricut in order to create follow your own path. So I placed those on the arrows. I can't tell you how much I love this. I just think it is such a fantastic sign. I love everything about it. I plan on putting this in my boys' room, but wouldn't this look so great in a teacher classroom as well. If you enjoy mystery box challenges, make sure you check out this video as well. Don't forget to head over to Dustin's channel and see what he has made with the items that I sent to him. Everything's going to be linked down in the description box. Thank you so much for spending your time with me and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!